marketing mix is about putting the right product or a combination thereof in the place, at the right time, and at the right price. The difficult part is doing this well, as you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Neil Borden first proposed the term marketing mix in 1953. Over a long period, many specialists have attempted to form sets of various marketing tools with which they could actively influence the demand to achieve the strategic and tactical goals set to determine the optimal costs for marketing activities. In the final analysis, it was a question of some formula of the marketing efforts of the company providing profit. Finally, in 1960, Jerome McCarthy formulated a classification called 4P and combining four elements. Product. A product refers to an item that satisfies the consumer's needs or wants. Products may be tangible, goods, or intangible, services, ideas or experiences. Price. Price refers to the amount a customer pays for a product. Place. Sales channels for providing product or service. Promotion. What is refers to marketing communications. As competition in all markets becomes more complex, the 4P marketing model also underwent a change into a 5P model and then to the 7P model. To the element above were added, people, service personnel who represent the company's values to customers. Process, the procedures, mechanisms and flow of activities by which service is delivered. Physical evidence, the space where customers and service personnel interact. Product. A product is an item that is built or produced to satisfy the needs of a certain group of people. The product can be intangible or tangible as it can be in the form of services or goods. If the company has a very good product, it is already half the success. Unfortunately, many people think the good product is enough and this is exactly then everything will turn out. No, it is not. A good product is just an invitation ticket to the market and thanks to this ticket, you have a good opportunity to enter the market and start your business. However, you have to use all P in order to get a good result. You must ensure to have the right type of product that is in demand for your market. So during the product development phase, the marketer must do an extensive research on the life cycle of the product that they are creating. In developing the right product, you have to answer the following questions. What does the client want from the service or product? How will the customer use it? Where will the client use it? What features must the product have to meet the client's needs? Are there any necessary features that you missed out? Are you creating features that are not needed by the client? What's the name of the product? Does it have a catchy name? What are the sizes or colors available? How is the product different from the products of your competitors? What does the product look like? Next P is the price. The price of the product is basically the amount that a customer pays for to enjoy it. Price is a very important component of the marketing mix definition. Adjusting the price of the product has a big impact on the entire marketing strategy as well as greatly affecting the sales and demand of the product. Price is one of the most undervalued marketing tool and it is much undeserved because the price directly related to your profit. If you start to work properly with the price then first you need to think about the value of your product or service. Warren Buffett noticed, price is what you pay, value is what you get. In order to establish the correct price, first analyze the value that your product gives to the customer. Write down all features and benefits of your product. Don't forget to use the main rule, people buy. Look on your product with a client's eyes what value the product brings to the client. The more valuable the product, the more expensive it can be sold. Pricing always helps shape the perception of your product in consumers' eyes. Always remember that a low price usually means an inferior good in the consumer's eyes as they compare your good to a competitor. Consequently, prices too high will make the costs outweigh the benefits in customers' eyes, and they will therefore value their money over your product. Be sure to examine competitors' pricing and price accordingly. Go ahead and the next P is place or distribution or sales channels. Key rule, you have to position and distribute the product in a place that is accessible to potential buyers. There are many distribution channels, but many companies use just couple. Distribution channels can be short or long and depend on the amount of intermediaries required to deliver a product or service. While increasing the number of ways in which a consumer can find a good can increase sales, 
It can also create a complex system that sometimes makes distribution management difficult. While a distribution channel can sometimes seem endless, there are three main types of channels, all of which include a combination of a producer, wholesaler, retailer and end consumer. Wholesalers, resellers, retailers, consultants and agents already have resources and relationships to quickly bring your product to market. If you sell through these groups instead of, or in addition to, selling direct, treat the entire channel as a group of customers, and they are since they're buying your product and reselling it. Understand their needs and deliver strong marketing programs. You'll maximize everyone's revenue in the process. Evaluate how your end users need to buy. Match end user needs to a distribution strategy. Identify your partners. Build distribution channels. Minimize pricing conflicts. Drive revenue through the channel. The next P this is promotion. Promotion is a very important component of marketing as it can boost brand recognition and sales. Promotion is comprised of various elements like sales organization, public relations, advertising, sales promotion. The promotion include advertising, sales promotion, event marketing, public relations, direct marketing, digital marketing, interactive marketing, word of mouth, product placement. Advertising typically covers communication methods that are paid for like television advertisements, radio commercials, print media, and internet advertisements. In contemporary times, there seems to be a shift in focus offline to the online world. Public relations, on the other hand, are communications that are typically not paid for. This includes press releases, exhibitions, sponsorship deals, seminars, conferences, and events. Word of mouth is also a type of product promotion. Word of mouth is an informal communication about the benefits of the product by satisfied customers and ordinary individuals. The sales staff plays a very important role in public relations and word of mouth. The American Marketing Association says that there are more than 4,000 channels of communication with customers. Just imagine 4,000 channels of communication what you can use to communicate with your customers. So how to choose the appropriate communication channel? First of all you have to understanding who is your target customer. For example if you sell an innovative, not very expensive product for young people at the age of 18, then social networks are likely to suit you as a communication channel. To understand what channel is most suitable for you, you can only look at it through the eyes of the client. For example, you can independently interview your potential customers for what communication channels advertising messages work best. One of the most frequent mistakes in working with communication channels is an attempt to substitute sales communications. For example, social networks are good channels of communication, but social networks do not sell anything. Many companies that are trying to actively use social networks to sell their product do not understand that people initially come with another objective function in social networks. They come in order to communicate, including with companies and brands, but they are not ready to buy on social networks. Therefore, you need to separate these channels that are engaged in our business by active sales and channels that deal with communications. The 7PS model is a marketing model that modifies the 4PS model. The 7PS is generally used in the service industries. It adds to the classical 4P, people, process, and physical evidence. People. People are the most important element of any service. Remember, people buy from people that they like, so the attitude, skills and appearance of all staff need to be first class. People have an important role in service delivery. They are relied upon to deliver and maintain transactional marketing and people play an important part in the customer relationship. Process The systems and processes of the organization affect the execution of the service. So, you have to make sure that you have a well-tailored process in place to minimize costs. Processes include direct activities and indirect activities. Direct activities add value at the customer interface as the consumer experiences the service. Many processes are supported by indirect activities, often known as back-office activities, which support the service before, during and after it has been consumed. 
physical evidence. In the service industries, there should be physical evidence that the service was delivered. Additionally, physical evidence pertains also to how a business and its products are perceived in the marketplace. Customers tend to rely on physical cues to help them evaluate the product before they buy it. Airlines offer premium travel as well as economy classes. Similarly, restaurants are known to be three-star, four-star, five-star. All such differentiation, and the target customer that accompanies such differentiation, is because of the use of physical evidence in marketing. In this lesson, we talked about the marketing mix. This term referred to a set of tools controlling which marketers try to achieve maximum customer satisfaction and maximize their loyalty. Marketing mix is about putting the right product or a combination thereof in the place, at the right time, and at the right price. Marketing mix model is included, product. A product refers to an item that satisfies the consumer's needs or wants. Price. Price refers to the amount a customer pays for a product. Place. Sales channels for providing product or service. Promotion what is refers to marketing communications. People, service personnel who represent the company's values to customers. Process, the procedures, mechanisms and flow of activities by which service is delivered. Physical evidence, the space where customers and service personnel interact. Hope you enjoy the material. Please share your comments. I am always open to make the product better for you. All the best.